If you have over $1 million in tax deferred investments, then today's episode is going to be for you specifically because we're going to talk about the impacts of what we call a retirement tax time bomb in all of this money that you saved all your life. So that's what we're here to talk about today. So if that's you, you're in the right place. Joe knows taxes. Joe knows the market. Joe knows Social Security. Joe knows income planning. Joe knows pickleball? No. This is Joe Knows Retirement. So we wrote an article that got featured in Kiplinger, and the title was, Do You Have At Least $1 Million in Tax Deferred Investments? And again, that's what we're going to talk about today, but we had people reach out from all over in order to schedule time with us to talk with us just because of this article. And the reason why is because they can't find an advisor or find a team that does this type of planning that specific, specifically serves those with at least a million dollars. Most advisors may say they do, but they don't have the strategies and processes in place to do that. And so if you find yourself in that position and you're looking for a team to really do more advanced tax planning and other more advanced estate planning items, then go ahead and reach out to our team. You can actually schedule a time in the, in the description below there on YouTube or on the podcast. You can just reach out to us at peakretirementplanning.com and we'll be sure to see if we can find a way for you to improve your situation. And so uh, for the time being though, let's talk about this idea of having a million dollars or more in your tax deferred investment. So as all of us know, you've saved all this money all these years and now it's time that if you take it out, then you're going to have to pay taxes on it. And so you're either going to take it out or you're going to be forced to take it out once RMD age comes around at either 73 or 75, depending on your age. And what we're seeing is that if there's no action taken between now and that time, you're going to end up with a large amount of money that you are forced to take out. And it's never a good thing when the government tries to force us to do something is something I always say. And so we need to start planning now if that's you and your strategies that you're going to have to start implementing right now are going to be a lot more it's going to be a lot more advanced than someone who may have under a million dollars. So remember who you are and where you are. What got you here? All that saving, 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 all that work, work, work may not get you down the mountain when you have this amount of assets. You're going to have to do more advanced planning. You're, need, you're going to need to look at the tax code and see what opportunities are in there for you to take advantage of. And so I'm the author of I Hate Taxes. It's a book. And in this book, it's, it's literally made for people just like you where, hey, how do, we, how do we take these strategies in a very simple and easy to follow way? And what does this mean for me as we progress? So if you're looking for more help, I'd recommend that book. Again, go ahead in the description. I think there's a link down there to actually download our, our book and we'll send you a copy. And Make sure you've got the resource there uh, that you can retire comfortably with. So um, that's the case with that. And so you really got to understand that where you're at is basically what I'm trying to explain there. And then if you do find yourself with a million, two million, three million, five million, ten million or more, there's some urgency here. Because again, this RMD is, is coming soon that we have to plan for. And so with this RMD, you're going to be required to take out about 4% when you reach the age of either 73 or 75. And that percentage only keeps to increase the order you get. By the time you're 90, it can go up to about 8% or more ongoing. And so what we're seeing is that as people grow their assets over time, as that amount that you have to withdraw goes up, it's a snowball effect, meaning at the beginning of your retirement, it's going to cause an impact, but it's going to get even worse as time goes on. And as we know, this doesn't just, you do not just have to pay federal income tax when you're taking these withdrawals. You also have to factor in the impacts of obviously state taxes, depending on where you live, but also social security tax and also IRMA pr premiums. And that's what we're gonna talk about here is the importance of planning for that. And so many people don't understand the concept that social security is actually tax-free for some people. So it used to be tax-free to everyone, and then they change rules because Social Security's been in a bit of trouble. And so what they do now is that if your income is low enough, you pay no taxes. But as soon as your income starts to increase, then you're going to have to start paying more tax on that Social Security benefit. And it can actually get to a point where you have to pay 85% of your benefit would be ta counted as income and you'd pay taxes on that income where, again, you may not have to do that if you can find yourself at a lower income standpoint in retirement. And so the way we overcome that is things like Roth IRAs and tax-free income. And we'll talk about that a little bit more throughout the podcast here. But just to understand that we have to worry about Social Security tax because that RMD is going to put us right there and make that Social Security now taxable. Whereas if we can lower that RMD, Maybe now less of our Social Security is taxable, meaning more money is in your pocket. 
You've worked hard your entire life for Social Security. Let's make sure and ensure you get what you deserve and what you've worked hard for. And so that's what we really want you to understand. But we also want you to understand of a concept called the Social Security Tax Torpedo. And that Kiplinger I talked about, I mentioned this idea and we had so many people ask about it. And this is where your income puts you in a position where now you force Social Security to be fully taxable. And because you do that, for that last about, let's call it $10,000 that you take out, could be at a 40 to 50% tax rate. Now your federal tax bracket may only be 12 or 22%, but because you're now forcing more of your social security to become taxable, when again, it did not have to if you stayed where you were, now you're forcing more total tax that you're gonna have to pay on that withdrawal. And so we had a, a client one time, we told him, hey, if you take out $10,000 from your IRA this year, you're gonna have to pay about a 50% tax. That means you get 5,000 and Uncle Sam gets 5,000. I don't know about you, but I don't think that's a good deal. And so what we did on an alternative is we actually took the 10,000 that they needed, because right, if, if you've done your job and you have a million dollars or more, you need to enjoy your retirement. You shouldn't be sitting there wondering, oh, do I have enough? You, know, you probably have enough, you just need a better plan. And so for this case, what we did is we took that $10,000 from a Roth IRA, and that meant that their income stayed the same, but they were able to live on the amount that they wanted. And so that's the key of tax planning. It's again, lowering your income in a smart way. We're not telling anyone here to eat ramen noodles or um, live in a cardboard box, but you can live that retirement and get all that money you're looking for in a smarter way with showing the IRS that you have less income. So that's the idea of the Social Security Tax Torpedo. We've got many other episodes on that here. And again, if you read that article, I, I detail it out a little bit more in there as well. And then the next thing we gotta talk about here is IRMA. Now, if anyone is from Columbus, Ohio on here, or anyone has been to Columbus, Ohio, we've got a restaurant chain out here. There's one left, and it's called Max and Irma's. I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about Irma, which is Medicare premiums that are based on your income. So Medicare Part B and D are gonna be based on your income. The higher your income, when you reach you know, 65, you're gonna to have to pay these premiums on this, and the higher income, more you pay. Now understand that this goes back two years. So when you're 63, that's gonna be whatever your income is there is what premium you're gonna to have to pay at 65. And that keeps going on and on. So when you're 64, you'll pay it at 66. And so that's how they factor the Medicare premiums there for you. Now, I don't believe that this is fair because you've worked hard, you've saved your money, you've been diligent, and now the government is saying because you've done that, because you've done the right thing, I'm gonna force you to pay more on Medicare premiums, but the person down the street who never saved, never worked hard, didn't do their work, they're gonna get some, they're gonna get by. They're gonna, they're gonna, you know, not have to pay the most in Medicare, but guess what? You both get the same coverage. So I don't think that's fair, and because of that, that's why you have to plan now if you don't want that to happen to you so that you can pay the same as someone down the street who didn't do their work. So you've done your work up to this point, now you have to do your point up to this point, and that's what we're talking about today. And so that's how you can reduce your Medicare premiums by not showing as much income, and that's kind of the theme of this video here today is how do we show less income? And so that would be the idea there. And so how do we do this? How do we lower our income? Well, it's through tax planning. And many people think tax planning, tax prep, you know, file your taxes at the end of the year. These are different concepts, right? A CPA is going to file your taxes. A financial planner is going to do tax planning. So we do tax planning with a lot of our clients. And our goal is how do we pay the lowest lifetime tax bill so that that means more money in your pocket, less than Uncle Sam's, so you can do what you want in retirement. So you can work if you want to work or travel if you want to travel or volunteer if you want to volunteer or spend time with the grandkids if you want to do that giving you more freedom. And if we do things the right way and we implement a successful tax plan, for most of our clients who have a million dollars or more, it is not outside the realm of possibility to save hundreds of thousands of dollars in retirement. And for many, it's even millions of dollars in retirement just by the right strategies. And so if you're not working with a professional, if you are not getting tax planning guidance, make sure you work out, reach out to a specialist who focuses on this. We get a lot of people that watch these uh, videos and listen to my podcast who say, my advisors never talked about this, but I still pay them that 1% fee every year. If you're just getting investment management for that 1% fee, I can tell you that you're most likely overpaying for that and you have two options. One, you either go to someone who will do investment planning for much cheaper because you could get that about half the cost or less and still get the same type of professional investment management 
or you go work with a firm who does comprehensive planning that not only does investment management, but also tax planning, healthcare planning, estate planning, income planning, do everything combined under one house so that you don't have to worry about missing anything. So that would be my advice to you if you're in that boat. And so that's where we're at there. And so you have to think about this Roth conversion idea uh, is what I want to talk about next is how do we how do we lower our income? Well, one way is through a Roth conversion. And with a Roth conversion, it simply means moving money from that 401k, that IRA, over to a Roth IRA. Now, it seems pretty simple. You know, the one thing we forgot, though, is we have to pay taxes. And as we all know, we don't like paying taxes. But the question becomes, do you want to pay your taxes now or do you want to pay them later? And if you think tax rates will go up in the future, like most people do, we may want to pay it now first when they're higher in the future. And if we have this huge RMD, we have Social Security on top of that, now we're going to end up paying more taxes in the future. And so this is why this Roth conversion can make sense right now. Now, this Roth conversion, the reason why it's so advantageous right now is because tax rates may be lower for a majority of people with this high of, of an asset because they may not be in a lower tax bracket in retirement. You've probably heard that concept before where, hey, just defer, defer, defer because later you're going to be in a lower bracket. Well, that was true while you're working, but my question is, is it true today knowing that you're in or near retirement and tax rates are lower than when you put the money in? So if you put the money in at a higher amount, great. Well, now let's pay it at a lower amount. And now's that window of opportunity to do so before tax rates go up in 2026 and before, in my opinion, they go up even higher considering we're so much a trillion dollars in debt right now and knowing that we're probably not going to reduce spending. And so what's that going to lead to? Obviously, increased taxes, knowing Medicare is underfunded, Social Security is underfunded. There's got to get their revenue some way. And so that's one alternative, a way to do that. And so, again, the idea of with a strategy like a Roth conversion, we can find ways to lower our income in retirement, still live on the same $100,000. Let's say you want to live on $100,000. You can still do that, but now you're just doing it by paying less taxes in the future. Because if you take out $50,000 from a Roth in the future, there is no tax. So let's say you take out $50,000 from an IRA, $50,000 from a Roth your income is only counted as $50,000 for taxes. Versus if you take 100,000 out of your IRA, zero from the Roth, well now you have a $100,000 tax burden, now you're forcing Social Security to become taxable, now you're forcing yourself you know, to pay more federal taxes, state taxes, and so that's why it's so clear and, 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 and why I want you to understand is you gotta pay your taxes now, for most people, not everyone, so you can deal with this in the future. And I really wanna bring this home of understanding the fact that Again, we're talking to people who have been diligent savers, million dollars or more. A lot of people we work with are what we call the millionaire next door. They've done such a good job saving. They've done such a good job of being frugal. They've worked hard. And then they get to this point where it's like, oh no, I have a problem. I have a big tax problem because I've done the right thing. And that's a great problem to have, but you got to take action if you want to value what you've worked so hard for. And if you've worked 40 years for this, hey, what's another hour, two, three hours each year to make sure you get this figured out? And again, you could do this on your own or you could seek out a professional, as mentioned earlier, who does this type of planning. And so uh, really just want to make that clear. There's so many different strategies as well that you can do to ensure that you're paying that lowest lifetime tax bill. And again, if you're looking for this type of planning, if you're looking for a firm who really specializes in this $1 million plus range of, of having money in tax deferred investments or maybe have a lot of money in taxable type investments or brokerage accounts that's where we really do our best work and so feel free to reach out to us there's a, there's a link in the description below to apply to talk to with us and we'll try to get you on our calendar so we can see how we can help you live that retirement that you wish for we work with people all across the country looking for this type of planning. So with that being said, we'll go ahead and wrap up the video today. Go ahead and keep watching for future videos. If you hit subscribe, then you'll be able to, to, to get all the updates as we progress moving forward. So have a great rest of your day. Since we do not know your specific situation, none of this information can serve as tax, legal, insurance, or financial advice and may be outdated or inaccurate. The information comes from sources believed to be reliable but cannot be guaranteed. This content is prepared for educational purposes only. If you need advice, please contact a qualified CPA, attorney, insurance agent, financial advisor, or the appropriate professional for the subject you would like help with. Peak Retirement Planning, Inc. is an Ohio-based registered investment advisor and able to offer advisory services in Ohio and in other states where registered or exempt from registration.